Mr Chairman, I would like to introduce Mr Kyle Robertson. Thank you, Board. Uh, nice to see you again, Mr King. Nice to see you again, Mr McFarlane. Indeed, yeah. I did have a question that I wanted to answer. Sorry, I did have a question that I wanted to ask. However, I do want to address something you just said before, Mr McFarlane. You said, and you said this last year in your opening statement regarding climate change, that some want to see fossil fuel financing from Westpac shut off overnight. I want to make very clear to every shareholder in the room that the resolution at item six is not asking the bank to do that. Oh. It is asking the bank to have a clear plan for how its fossil fuel customers are aligned with the Paris Agreement, not to cut off finance overnight. It's a very clear distinction. It's one that not Westpac necessarily, but other peers have made of resolutions from market forces before, and I do want to make that very clear and correct the record. No, we're aware of that. Thank you for that. No, no, we're conscious of that. Mm -hmm. um, so on that topic, I did just want to address one thing very specifically, which is, as Rachel said before, Westpac has ruled out directly financing new oil and gas projects that are not compatible with the International Energy Agency's net zero by 2050 scenario. So I suppose my question is, does Westpac consider that new oil and gas or new and expanded oil and gas is incompatible with 1.5 degrees? Well, again, we will work on client transition plans with customers and we'll be looking at their plans to offset scope one, two and three emissions. And we've said, you know, we won't finance expansion in, uh, in oil, new or greenfield in, in oil and gas. So we'll, we'll be using our policy. I do appreciate that, but that yeah. wasn't an answer to my question. The question was, do you consider new oil and gas fields to be incompatible with 1.5 degrees? Uh, it'll depend on what's in the 1.5 on degree and what was approved before and after. And uh, that's why we'll be doing it at a client level. Um, very, you know, w w where we've got a couple of exposures in that area and we'll be working with those clients pretty closely. You know that's more a question for government than for us, of course. Not necessarily, it's your policy. Yeah, indeed. Anyway, thank you. Thank you.